here at DCQ. I'm Catherine. Bye. And to answer the question, what do you learn from audience feedback, we decided to make a questionnaire. The questions from this questionnaire are... What were the engaging features about our music video? Can you establish the themes or concepts present in the music video? What were they? How much do you think an album cover says about the artist? How could my album cover be, uh, how could my album cover be improved? If you like some music from this artist, how do you go about buying the music? Or what other ways can you get this music? What aspects of our music video do you feel you could uh, do you feel could have been improved and why? And do you feel our music video conforms to typical indie genre music videos? So, what are the engaging pictures? About our music video. After getting all of our audience opinions back, we've narrowed it down to the most popular ones that they thought were good. Most people primarily enjoyed the narrative. They thought it was very, very good. They enjoyed the imagination of the music in there, how it all came about, and happening well with the themes. And the well with the themes is, were like quite shown in the narrative and in the performance very well. Um, we also feel you can like the uh, shot types and the angles used to uh, possibly show the emotions of the characters. There's quite a few high angles used on uh, the uh, now sexy character Danny. Um, because obviously he was one who was in danger, whereas Georgie was sometimes portrayed from a very low angle to show her power. Um, that was basically what the audience think. They liked it quite a lot, so they were happy. And answering the questions, can you establish the themes or content present in the music video? If so, what were they? People answered that they thought the main themes were water, stalking, death and religion. The third question was, how much, how much do you think an album cover says about the artists? Um, quite a few people responded and said that before they buy an album, if it's in a store, they always look at the front cover and judge it. Unless obviously they know what kind of music is already going to be on it, they want to purchase it anyway. Quite a lot of people like it just the other way because it can be strongly strongly related to the album, whereas in other cases it might not. In other cases I've seen where it's got barely, like some cases where it's got not much kind of relation to the cover, it might be something by the XX where it's got just plain X some different kind of feel in the X which doesn't necessarily explain that much about the artists. Whereas other artists like Peace had an album called Delicious and that correlates because the album cover was a Gucci Melon cut into a piece of Gucci Melon obviously symbolising the deliciousness and Peace, the name of the band, like the symbols inside Gucci Melon. Um, how can my album cover be improved? Quite a few people said that my album cover fonts on it were slightly obscure, not always readable on some of the small titles. Uh, Other things they said was the brightness and the colour sometimes yeah. took, would have been better if I wasn't to have changed them as much and just left the Georgie looking more natural because it's quite a, quite a natural kind of song. It should have been left that way instead of making it a little when our audience answered the question, what aspects of our music video do you think have been improved and why? They mainly said the killing scene and also we used a slow pace to match the song during the killing scene and to make it better. If you like the music from this artist, how would you go about buying the music? What other ways can you get to music? You can get the music from such websites as iTunes and uh, other places where you can buy music online. Also, you could torrent music, even though it is technically illegal. It, it is illegal. It is illegal to download music and you can pay for it. Uh, this is actually some way of actually getting your music publicly done and sort of getting it out there. Um, other ways is people sharing the music together. So websites where you just share music, you upload it, and other people can download it. Again, that's still illegal, but it's a way of new artists getting known. And the final way, which is probably one of the most well known ways of going back a long way, is uh, going to actual stores such as HMV and going out there and actually buying the music itself. Question six was Do you feel our music video conforms 
to the typical indie genre conventions. Um, quite a few people said that they did, due to quite a lot of elements, such as having some bright colours in there, for example, when we was in the tunnel, there was quite a mixture of colours that was coming off, but it was all a non-post-production, it was actually the lights that were used in the tunnel. And I felt that bright colours is a very strong convention for the indie genre. Other, other people did say, for as many conventions that were there, we did challenge quite a few. For example, in quite a lot of indie music videos, when you have performance and narrative, it's mostly dominated by performance, whereas ours was dominated by narrative. Also, it's quite rare in an indie video to have a killing scene in the actual video. So we thought this was, we could say it's our original idea, and we really liked it. And we're very glad with the feedback we got.